Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and just stick around. Also, if you need any help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, small group coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. So if you're interested in any of these services, go to the links below in the description box and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about why opposites sometimes manifest when we're manifesting a desire. And we're going to go over that. I have identified two main reasons, which are the most common reasons in my opinion and from my experience. So we're going to discuss that momentarily. So the first reason, and this one tends to be a little more common if you are just starting out with a law, or if you are starting to manifest a new desire, especially if you're having some resistance towards that desire, or if you're having a 3D reality that is showing opposite things, um, is, is a very simple reason. We have discussed in other videos that the 3D reality takes a little while to catch up. So you start manifesting a desire, usually it doesn't show up immediately. Now, sometimes I know we do have instant manifestations, but even in these manifestations, there's a teeny tiny delay. It, it might just be a few seconds, but for all manifestations, there is some sort of a delay. It doesn't mean that they won't come fast. They may come, like I said, in seconds, minutes, um, hours or days, but there is still some delay from the moment you set your first intention. So there is always some delay in the 3D. We don't know how much the delay is going to be. Um, usually the more natural we feel about a desire, the less the delay is, but we don't know from the outset how much that delay is going to be. So if you're just starting manifesting a new desire, or if you're just starting with a law, it might very well be that your 3D hasn't caught up yet to what you're manifesting. And that is a very, very common reason. So in that case, you just need to give it more time to catch up. You need to persist in your desired reality, in your intentions, in your affirmations, visualizations, um, inner conversations, scripting, whatever you're doing, getting into the state of the wishful field, dwelling in that state, living in that state, persisting in that state, making that dominant within you. And just persist in that, just keep dwelling on that and give the 3D a little bit of time to actually manifest what you are manifesting. Don't worry too much. It is going to manifest it. If that becomes your main focus, your main point of attention, if you shift to that new state where you already have your desire, it is going to manifest. You can rest assured. So just give the 3D a little time to catch up and show you what you wanted to show you. Okay. Now this isn't the same as the concept of a purge. Those of you who have been in the manifesting community for a while must have heard from some coaches um, that there is there can be a purge or a purge period where everything old, everything from the old story just comes to the surface um, before it gives room to the new stuff, to the new story. I admit that I don't necessarily believe in the concept of a purge. I think it's much simpler. I think it's much more a matter of where do you put your consciousness? This is what you see. It's as simple as that. So I don't think that there necessarily needs to be a purge or a, a period where the old story is purging and all that. It sounds a little bit too dramatic for me. So I'd say, don't worry too much about experiencing a purge. Even if you're just starting out with manifesting, even if you're starting to manifest a new desire, it really doesn't mean that you're going to experience a purge. It really is a matter of how fast you shift within yourself how fast you feel natural about your desire, how fast it starts feeling true to you. And that is when um, your 3D reality is going to start showing it to you and start shifting towards the new direction that you want it to shift to. So I would say take the idea of a purge out of your mind, but keep in mind that the 3D always needs a little bit of time or in some cases a little bit more time to actually catch up to what it is that you're manifesting and to actually start reflecting the new, the new ideas, the new reality, the new story that you're feeding uh, into your subconscious mind. So just give the 3D a little bit of time. So now a second reason why you might be manifesting one thing and then keep seeing opposite things in your 3D reality. And that tends to apply more if you have been manifesting a desire for a while. 
uh, a short while or a longer while, that is usually a pretty good indication that you still haven't shifted states and you haven't shifted to the state of the wish fulfilled. It is a very likely indicator that you are still approaching your manifestation from a state of, I don't have it, it's not mine, and basically I'm doing all the techniques or I'm doing whatever it is that I'm doing from a place of, I don't have it, a place of, I am not that person who I'm manifesting myself to be. So essentially, you're still manifesting from the old story. You're still manifesting from a state of trying to force the 3D to happen a certain way. You still don't feel natural about your manifestation. And you are still feeling like you need to do things. You need to do all the techniques. You need to force things to happen because otherwise they're not happening. Deep down, you're not believing yet that it is possible for you, that it is doable you are coming from a state of, I need to make it happen. So I'm doing all the intentions, I'm doing all the affirmations, um, I'm scripting, I'm visualizing, I'm imagining, I'm meditating, I'm doing the inner conversations, whatever it is that you're doing from a place of, oh, I'm trying to force it to happen. Because deep down, I don't believe it. Deep down, I'm not that person. I know I'm not that person. So this is why your 3D keeps showing you opposite results and not what you want. Remember what Neville said? He said, you don't manifest what you want, you manifest who you are, which is why it's so important that we actually shift to the state of the wish fulfilled. We shift to the state of being the person we want to be and of having what we're actually manifesting ourselves to have. So if you've been manifesting for a while and you keep seeing opposite results and nothing is changing or there's a lot of hot and cold or there's a little change here and there and then it goes back to the old story, that's a pretty good indication that you are still approaching your manifestation, not from the naturalness of being the person you want to be, not from the naturalness of having already what you want to have, not from the naturalness of a state where your wish is fulfilled already, you already have it, but from a state of, I don't have it, I'm not that person, I don't have the desire, I need to make it happen, I need to force it. And so I'm doing the techniques to try and accomplish that. So there's a distinct difference between those two states. So you want to be aware, you want to observe yourself, you want to observe your inner states and actually be honest with yourself about what state you're coming from when you're manifesting your desire, what state you're, you're approaching your manifestation from. Because if you keep manifesting, if you keep doing techniques, um, if you keep intending, but the 3D keeps showing you the opposite, especially if that's been happening for a while, that is a pretty sure indicator that you need to shift something in your inner state. You haven't yet shifted into an inner state where you feel like your manifestation is already yours. Your desire is already yours. It's done. It's a done deal. It's happening. It's coming. If you don't start feeling natural about that sort of thing, uh, if, if you don't get into that feeling, then it's very possible that the 3D might keep showing you things that you don't like because you are still, your inner state is still in the old story and you're still manifesting from the old story and from the old self. So I hope this has made things a little clearer. I intend that this has helped. I'm going to wrap up this video here. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being in this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.